we've seen and shared many acts of kindness today on what's known as Giving Tuesday. It's a chance for all of us to give back. And there's a place here in Indianapolis that gives back every day to families undergoing life-saving hospital treatments. Jenny Runovich shows us why The Good House now wants to give back even more. The Good House tries to ease the financial and emotional burden of families undergoing treatment here at IU Health. It's a mission they'd like to expand. Walk into the Good House on North College Avenue. Has a chemo. And you feel it, the love, the compassion, the calming space for families fighting to survive. We're just so grateful, so grateful. So it looks there. real. It gives people like Mary and Jose Martinez from Michigan a short-term place to stay while getting treatment for life-threatening diseases. No worry about money. The rooms here are free. I can't even tell you how much it means that we have the good house to come to. Just come and relax and get ready for a game one morning and uh, head home. So, yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Jose is battling stage four cancer. He gets treatment in Indianapolis nearly once a week. Becky Armbruster founded the Good House in 2012 to help families like his. She knows what they're going through. She saw it during her late husband's bone marrow transplant. I met so many people that were here from out of town. They were sleeping in chairs. They didn't have a place to stay. I was given a lot of compassion when my husband was sick. And I kind of wanted to give that back and teach that lesson to other people. The Good House has private bedrooms, private baths, and a common space to share. At the end of the day, they're all going through the same type of thing, and they all have the same feelings. It's like a family. Unfortunately, Armbruster often has to turn families away. There are only four rooms here. October was a record breaker for us. We had 90 nights. She hopes to eventually raise enough money to build a house with 25 rooms to help even more. People like Mary and Jose, who find comfort far from home. It's overwhelming to know that the ladies here have put this available for us, and there's not enough ways to say thank you. The Martinez family son is actually holding a fundraiser at his company in Michigan right now, and you can help too through a donation by volunteering. We have a link with information on WTHR.com. Andrea?